Hey, what's up everybody? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day out there staying safe. I hope God's dwelling in your life helping you out. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your savior in these past videos, I ask that you put a comment in. For you might be here today and maybe you recommitted yourself to Christ or maybe your self is kind of drifting away from Christ or maybe you never have. I ask that you pray the prayer with me at the end of the video. And before we get started with the topic we have today, I have to say that you guys are awesome. I thank you for watching. The people that are watching, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. For Jesus wants your heart. And you might be new here to the channel, but ever since I've been from Liberty University, my God has changed my heart. God has changed my heart that now I'm serving Him with all my soul with all my mind and with all my heart for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing whether it be good or whether it be evil for the Lord is going to judge the world one day and he's coming for his church but Jesus Christ is here to forgive you yesterday we talked about Abraham and his son the story was amazing because Abraham uses his son to explain that throughout your life God might ask you things that seem harsh and seem like they're difficult but because we have a perfect father that everything he requests of us will make us better at a spiritual life God was trying to teach Abraham that I know I fear you fear me now that Abraham took the risks that he knew that even if he had to sacrifice his own son that Jesus will help him that, I mean I get Jesus and God messed up all the time anyways they're the same person and I just sometimes I say Jesus when I'm talking in the Old Testament and I'm like oh no you know but anyways the point is is that God was testing Abraham just like he did Job to see if he feared him see throughout our life God will give us many tasks to do maybe he's telling us to spread the gospel maybe he's help telling us to pray with somebody maybe he's telling us to live for him to make a decision to get rid of the drugs to get rid of the sex to get rid of that nasty mouth to get rid of the sorcerers and all the evil that is not from God from Satan himself maybe God's telling you to drop something today that's not good Maybe God's telling you that you need to make a good task for him that he knows that you have trust and faith in him and that you, you, you fear the Lord. I ask that we all go to Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. Today we're going to be talking about Cain and Abel, a story that's very important. Now, this story, most of you probably have heard of it, but some people don't say it right they don't explain it right that it's just about them killing each other no it's not there's more to it because this is a very serious lesson and this is the reason why murders and killing and suicides and evil is going on in this world it's because this story tells us the reason why I ask that we all go to Genesis. Please open your Bible. Stay in the Word of God. Go to Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 and listen to what God has to say to you today. And it says in verse 1, And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare king and said, I have got a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel is a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of the time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought the firstlings of the flocks. And off of that, therefore, and the Lord had respect until Abel into his offering. But until Cain into his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth, and he was continuous fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why are thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen if thou dost well shall thou not be accepted and if thou dost not well sin lieth at the door and until they shall be his desire 
and thou shalt rule over him. Okay, now we can explain this. Some people don't explain it right, but we could see here that Cain was the first brother, the firstborn of Adam and Eve. No, but you can see here in the verse two verses, are you listening? And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord that that Adam and Eve see that Cain's going to be a good man. In verse 2 it says, And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiler of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Okay, so now we can see that we just read these verses. Now what is tr God trying to explain here? Well, Cain is the first brother. But when Abel comes into the family, Cain gets mad. And this is something that I struggle, struggled with a lot, is that I have a younger brother right now, but I used to treat him like crap just because he was his younger brother. I thought I was better than my brother. Nobody is better than an other human being because we're all sinners. We're all born sinners. We all have a soul, mind, and heart, and we all need to serve God. We're, we're not better than anybody else's because we're just dying flesh that will just disappear forever. We're absolutely worth nothing but because the Holy Spirit and God and what Jesus Christ has accomplished on the cross for our sins, we are able to become a person of light. We are the light of the world because Jesus, the power of Jesus lives in us. And maybe you have a brother or a family member that you don't like. God's telling us here that Cain was the first brother and because now Abel walked around he's now mad and jealous that's the first word jealousy is mentioned in this story not only is jealousy mentioned but also pride see throughout your life God will tell you to stay away from pride but when that pride starts to walk into your heart then it starts to bring anger strife death suicides all kinds of evil and we can see here that Cain is heading to that killing by already getting mad at his brother see Cain said look I'm better than my brother I'm better than who he is Cain said look I I've lived longer than him I have more experience in the Lord I have more of this and that and we can see here that then that starts to bring sin into the family that when the sin offering for God, when Cain did it, and then he saw Abel do it, and then he stopped respecting God. Because he said, God, look, I'm the only person who walks on this earth, and I'm the only person who has a soul and mind and a heart, and nobody's going to stop me. That's what Cain had in his own mind. So when you have that pride in your own heart, and you think you're better than everybody, and maybe you're bullying somebody or making fun of somebody just because what they look like, that pride builds up in your heart and it starts to bring sin a nasty mouth and it starts to bring drugs and sex and and then it starts to bring hating your family you know I used to hate my family all the time I used to hate them all the time I thought I was better than them just because I did this and that but truly deep down in my soul I knew I wasn't I am not better than anybody I'm just dying flesh and so is Cain and the story that God's telling us here is that throughout your life, you're not better than anybody else is. You are not better than your younger brother. And then that pride start building up in Cain. And listen to what God has to tell us in the next verses. Verse 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is thy Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. I am my brother's keeper. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. We can see here that Cain lies to God. Cain literally just murdered his brother. Cain literally just killed him instead of being a good example. See, throughout your life, you might have some person out there who's killing people. But then they'll lie to you and say they're not. That's what Cain did to God. 
He said, God, look, I didn't kill my brother. Look, you can, I'm telling you, you cannot, you cannot get away from God looking at you. God knows every step and decision you take in your life. So when you lie to God, you're definitely lying to God. That is for sure. But we start to see here that in the first verse, we got Cain, right? He's a righteous man. He's a man of God. But then Abel walks into the family and then that relationship with God with Cain starts drifting away with the jealousy, the pride, and the sin. And then he starts to get mad and then he lets go of God and then as soon as he lets go of God he gets mad because God is not in his heart now because he's not letting God in his heart by not being jealous. And now he kills his own brother just because he thought he was better than him and he was jealous and afraid that just because his brother was there maybe you won't be as good for God. Tell you the truth, nobody in the world today is better than anybody else. I don't care how much money you have, how many cars you have, how much fashion and how good you look. You still have a soul and a mind and a heart. When that pride starts to build up, it brings all sins. See, that pride started building up and said, look, I'm better than my brother. Boom, he killed his own brother right there and saw his blood. God's teaching us here to, to be a good role model to the young ones. That when we are a good example, that we show those young ones to go down the right path. But Abel wasn't a, uh, Cain wasn't a good role model. And he killed his own brother just because he thought he was better than him. You might have a brother right now or a family member or a friend that you're treating like crap just because you think you're better than they are. It says in the Bible that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's eyes. Everyone in God's eyes is beautiful in some way, and nobody's going to stop that. Stop with the lying. Stop with the killing and the suicide. Stop with the pride and the jealousy just because they might be in this world. See, that's what the Pharisees did to Jesus. They said, oh, look, Jesus came along. I'm jealous and then that the Pharisees started having pride and starting having they jealousy by trying to kill Jesus and boom they killed Jesus and they lost their own souls to hell just because they had that pride and they thought they were better so the Lord is telling us here that you are not better than anyone else and that your own pride and that your own jealousy will get you to hell that Cain was a good person, but when that pride starts to build in the heart, when that anger starts to build in that heart, boom, you put God away and you let Satan walk in because that's what Satan wants. Satan says, you're better than everybody else. You have a good heart. Look, just, just keep on sinning. Keep on sinning. Keep taking that drug. Keep having that sex look. When you keep doing it, you become better than everybody else. If you keep doing it, keep doing it, boom, you die, you go to hell. That's how it works. But God says, stay away from that. Stay on me. Stay on me. And if Cain would have just stayed on God and not let the pride get in him by hating his brother, boom, it would have never happened. No death or no killing would have never happened. But because Abel walked in, that pride, and now his brother has died. And not only he did that, he lied to God and didn't really repent of what he did. He lied to God and said he didn't do it. Are you watching today? Are you hating somebody that you want out of your life? Or maybe you're thinking of killing somebody? Are you prideful and jealous in your own heart just because you think you're better than everybody else? To tell you the truth, you're not. And neither am I. I'm not better than anybody else. Just because I spread the gospel and I read the Bible doesn't mean I'm better than anybody else. It just means that Jesus is living through me and I'm doing what's right. I'm doing what's for God, but doesn't mean that just because I do this or that doesn't mean that I'm better than somebody else. Just because I'm holy and maybe I spread the gospel and I live for God and I live by Him, 
doesn't mean that I'm better than anybody else because when I start thinking to myself that I'm better than everybody else, that I'm better than the sinners of the world, then it starts to bring anger, sin, killing, and evil. And that's what Satan did. He said, look, I'm better than God. And then that started to bring uh, all kinds of stuff. And then, boom, he got kicked out of heaven because he thought he was better than God. You're not better than anybody else. And I ask that maybe you're here today and you're struggling with that. It's okay. Pray this prayer with me right now. Jesus, I ask that you touch hearts that are watching this video. That the story of Cain and Abel is telling us that your love, that your love will bring them down the path. That that never killing would have never happened if Cain didn't have the pride in their, his own heart. Lord, help us not to have pride and jealousy and anger and mindset of killing and breaking the commandments and falling into sin and hating somebody, Lord. Because we're not better than anybody else, Lord. We're not better than anyone else's. Just because we read the Bible and we have more knowledge doesn't mean we're better. But because Jesus lives through us, we're doing the things that are for him and we shall be saved. Lord, help us never to be like Cain. But help us to love Abel. Help us to be Cain, but not prideful and loving towards you. To love our brother. Because Lord, when we love you, we love the world. Because we love the people that live on it. Because when we love the ones that hate us, Lord, when we love the ones that are not as good as us, we are telling you, God, that we're not better than them at all. That we are just dying because you live in us, that your joy and peace lives in us. And I ask that who is ever watching, Jesus Christ will dwell in your heart. Lord, help change their life. Help them to be a good, faithful servant unto you, a follower of you, Lord. Help them to be a good, faithful person, a child of God willing to serve Him. Jesus is coming soon, and He's looking for confident people willing to love the ones that hate Him, not to be prideful, but to be humble, to have wisdom. In Jesus' name I pray for all of you that are watching. God bless. Have a good day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God wants your heart. And if you're watching today, I hope you pray that prayer with me. If you have any questions, ask. The story about Canning Abel is serious because we could see that the pride and the jealousy and the evil and the anger and the killing in his own heart actually committed the killing. And that's something that's happening in our world today is that the killing and the suicides going on is that that pride and that evil starts to build up and then you're willing to get that evil so bad that you're willing to kill a innocent person just because you think they're you think you're better than them i ask that you stay away from pride that you are not better than anybody else but with jesus christ you shall do great things we need to love our enemies. We cannot be prideful. We need to love our brother, our sister, our family, even though they might not have as much knowledge or maybe they're not as good as you. But listen, you got to understand that when you do that, it will lead them closer to God. When you do that, it will stay away from the killing and the anger, and that's what it's all about. And I'm asking you all to do that today, that you don't be king, but you be yourself and love Abel but love God first because when you look to God for everything, that killing of Abel would have never happened. See, Satan walked in and the evil walked in on Cain and told him to kill his own brother and boom, he did it. Satan will do anything for souls to be lost and he will kill you in matters of days if you don't be careful. He will destroy your soul. He will destroy your heart and mind. And if you let him, he will do it and I promise you. But because if you look to God, that pride and that evil and that anger and the killing will not happen. But we live in a broken nation today that's falling into many things that are evil. Like sexual stuff, perversion, homosexuality, uh, sorcerers, witchcraft. Um, you got drugs, alcohol, all kinds of evil. And that starts to build pride and then it starts to build anger and it starts to build rioting and anger. And starts to build killing and hating and hating and hating. We need, we need Jesus. That's what we need. We need Jesus. We don't need that pride. Because 
When we look at our true selves throughout the entire world, we're not any better because we're just humans with a heart and soul, and we all need Jesus. Every single person that walks on this earth needs a Savior.